Welcome back to the Garden with Joy and Holly radio show. Thank you for being with us today and allowing us to be part of your day just for a little bit. We're going to talk about who Holly and I are, or myself. I guess I'm not really sure how that works, uh, verbiage-wise there. But uh, you've listened to us. This may be the first time you've heard the program. This may be the first year you're listening to the program. Uh, this is the eighth season of the Garden with Joy and Holly radio show. It originates out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, and we are on, in addition to Milwaukee, we're on 16 other AM and FM frequencies across uh, 19 other states, and you can catch the show on podcast replay on your favorite platform and or in-studio video through our parent website, thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com, and or our YouTube channel, The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. Yeah, so, um, what now? <laughs> it's about us. <laughs> and, and we, we, cre- I don't know where to start. We create the show. We have, we do all of this ourselves. We, from the sponsors, finding the sponsors to marketing to production to hosting to the whole deal to get it so you can hear it every week, March through October. So, um, it all started on a rainy yeah, Tuesday. I don't <laughs> I don't know. What's our, what's our, what should we say? Well, people may want to know, like, besides us being, you know, I guess professional gardeners, what, what do we do? Oh, well, we're we're not robots. We don't do this 24 7. I work full time um, outside of the home, I guess you could say. I work from home, but I work for a corporation. I'm a, I'm a corporate professional. (laughs) Nobody really knows what I do, but it's like Chandler on Friends. But it's basically my official title is network analyst but i'm like a data scientist i don't it's hard to explain but um i like what i do a lot and i have pretty good co-workers and a, a good boss so and your co-workers are literally all over the country my co-workers are all over the country and um yeah it's very uh i i get a i get an, a, a lot of pto i can't complain at all good benefits so i'm i'm pretty happy with that it helps um you know carry good financial load um for us so yeah and i do this full time and i bring i i pr- participate in the financial contribution to our household as well yeah 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 for sure um but yeah so that's what i do when i'm not um doing doing my hobbies of gardening and whatnot i have a full-time job and uh yeah. Well, kind of for people who are kind of in that, how did it all start? Uh, we started on one station in Milwaukee, not the current one that we're on. We were on a different one. Uh, we were there for three years. And for those who are listening to Milwaukee, Joy 1340 and 98.7, the uh, station reached out to us and said, we want you to come over. Will you come over? We want you to, we want to fill our Sunday, Saturday mornings with your program. So we did all that. We were on one station, and then we worked to six stations, and then we were at 12, and then now we're at 18 stations in 21 states. Yes, correct. And I don't know that we're going to expand anymore because this is about the maximum that two people can handle when it comes to financially uh, getting advertisers to pay for the airtime in order to be in all these markets. I think we're about capped to where we're at but if you want to advertise on this show yeah yeah garden talk radio <laughs> at gmail.com or you know somebody it doesn't have to be gardening related gardeners are consumers of everything which i'm sure you know as a gardener and if you're not a gardener you probably uh are well, we have gar- we have people who yeah. listen to the program that are have never uh-huh. gardened that's at all. why i said if yeah. you're not a gardener maybe you listen and you're like hey i could check out this product or i really like this product i'm gonna tell holly and joey about it and blah 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 so anyway what if, for for whenever we're not doing this, uh, what what do you do? What is something you enjoy doing when we're not participating in the business of garden media and broadcasting, helping people grow a garden? I have like all the hobbies. Um, so let's see. I like to spend time outdoors with with Joey sometimes by myself. Other times, I like to go for little hikes, little drives. Um, swing on swing sets in the middle of the day. You learned you learned that uh, <laughs> makes you a little whoopy woo. <laughs> I got a little motion sick. Yeah. I was like, this isn't like a little woozy. I think um, is the correct. It word. looks fun on the camera. 
<laughs> on the YouTube. Um, I don't know what else I do. I I do a lot of crafts, kind of random crafts, whatever I find fun. You are a certified yoga instructor if you chose to exercise that uh, title? Correct. I am a, a group fitness certified yoga instructor. And you also have picked up a new hobby of belly dancing. I have picked up a new hobby, belly dancing, and I did my first performance a couple weeks ago, um, and it was a lot of fun. I performed with my classmates. I have three regular classmates that come to class, and we performed together at a little, it's called a hafla, which is like a celebration. So other people at the dance studio also perform with their classmates, and it was like, I guess like a recital, you would call it maybe if you were doing like ballet or some other sort of dance. Um, but yeah, it was fun. I put together an outfit and um, a whole, I crafted some of my outfit and then I had to buy some other things online. And it was fun. And instead of yelling, go team while you're dancing, you go, yep, yep. Is that what it is? Yep. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. Uh, while you're dancing. <laughs> or you could yell Opa. Opa. There's other ones, too. Okay. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun, and I've been doing that for a year and three months-ish, I think. Um, and I'm going to continue. So, yeah. And that that's uh, a new one for you. Yeah. And and you hike as well. I said that. I yeah. like to wander through the woods. Well, wander and hike are okay. very different things. <laughs> It's become more of like wandering, dilly dallying around the woods now. Do you but. dilly dally? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's become it, no, but I do. Sometimes I do hike with purpose, I guess, um, or like a goal. Sometimes I just go and spend time in nature. So um, it can be either or, but that's okay. And and the we now Holly and I have uh, we we camp a lot now. Yeah, why don't you talk about where we camp? We camp in the north woods of Wisconsin. We have a property up there uh, that uh, we have a permanent campsite. If you'd like to learn more, you can find that on our secondary YouTube channel. It's simply search Time by the Tent, and we document our trips up there. And um, I do participate in harvesting animals off our property if uh, the, those videos are there is a warning in front of those if you do choose to skip those just because of common courtesy on the production value there but it's not all that it's we we camp we have a wall tent and unique uh, creative ways in which we have found in order to uh, utilize uh, products that we find or m cr build ourselves in order to make our camping experience more enjoyable and uh, got a lot of wood it's, it's a very nice uh, environment uh, to be in to decompress i guess is now the uh, word to use instead of relax have we substituted relax with decompress yeah um i don't think like I, we do we do relax when we're there to to an extent, we're still very much in like the development stages of this land. So I wouldn't say, I don't think either of us really fully relax when we're there or if we do. It's a different mode. It's a different uh, mode of relaxing. But I will tell you that it is decompressing. Um, I always. Your ears hurt to, at some point because it is so quiet. Yes, it is very your, quiet. Your ears ring. Yeah. Um, and it's just very, you are just immersed in nature and in, in not being around people. And. Every time we go, I when we're leaving, I'm like sad because we're going home. I'm happy because we're going home because my my cat is here, but also um, because I just feel so fulfilled, and I feel I've always been a nature person, so this is like uh, just absolutely amazing, and I don't think sometimes it's even hit me yet. And it's only been not even well, it's not even been a year, but like. Um, yeah, I really enjoy our space there. Sometimes I do feel overwhelmed with like figuring out, you know, food for the weekend, blah, 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 getting all that stuff together. But once we're there, we're there. And it's very nice to feel just present and alive. In the North Woods, <laughs> not, in the, not in the South Woods or the but, East Woods. But, you know, like, like I said, I work a corporate job, I work full time a week or full time. 40 hours a week and it's nice to be able to really just get 
as far away as possible from that. And that's what this is. And it's a different form of work. Yes. Well, it's not even that. It's just a, it's like an, an easy accessible vacation in a way. Right. It's a, it's a, it's an arty, arty, crafty project creating a blank play, uh, a wood, uh, but it's still, it's still a getaway. Yeah. It's a getaway. Yeah. absolutely. It might not be a getaway to some people. Some people might be thinking you're insane. They call that a getaway, but it is for us. And I think a lot of people spend all, you're working for one huge vacation, and if that's you... And they you, blow that whole money. And they blow all that money. We've took that money and invested it into a property where we can have a vacation multiple times a month. Correct. And sometimes, you know, we do go and we work harder, and sometimes we work less, and sometimes we do whatever we need to get done it's a different type of work it's a different way of uh instead of mentally it's more physical yeah but it's still it's still to me it's still a break because it's a different totally change in scenery totally total change in lifestyle etc and we've got a really nice neighbor we have an amazing (laughs) neighbor (laughs) and and, and he and you know he doesn't boast about it but he's a 24 year retired air force mechanic so he has uh, fixed some planes to, to keep us safe. So uh, we are always grateful for that. We are blessed. We are blessed that we have such a helpful neighbor. He's helped us out in a couple situations with some snow up there. Because it's a three hour plus yeah, drive for it's us. Three hour it, plus it, drive. To make that clear, it's not just, and, oh, jump in the car, we're there in 10 minutes. And I feel that um, we couldn't have asked for a better neighbor up there. So, yeah. So that's a little bit about uh, insight, just a snippet of who we are and what we're about. We're not just all drowning in gardening 24-7, and, and if you think that, well, we appreciate that. We want to be able to help you with your garden situation and never think that by emailing us or calling us that you're interrupting something. This is what we do. This is, a, this is, our, this is my job to help you make sure you can grow the best vegetable, the best garden, the best flowers, the best trees that you can. 